All right, guys, we are back. Um, let's see what the rankings are since the last time you guys have been here. As you can see, Mediterranean has went down a little bit. I went up a little bit, and Minutemen they have also went up. So that's why I say these guys are a great concern. All right, now let me just say this to anybody that's watching this video: if you have any questions, I know I'm. 135 days ahead so I don't want you to feel like this game is so advanced or I'm you know I'm trying to go over your head or anything so if you have any questions any concerns anything you want to know feel free to, to ask me in the comments um, I, I will answer your question immediately once I see the comments because um, I, I want people to get into this game it's a very good game and um, so let's just get into this here, see where we're at here. Um, the last time I was here, I was telling you guys about my coalition member here, Wes Irkuts. Irkuts. Um, and how he has committed treason against me by allowing Kentucky here, who is a major... He's a major player right now because he, he, he has a lot of uh, resources here. So this is who I'm dealing with. So he allowed Kentucky to, uh, by sharing my sharing the map, he gives Kentucky access to see my entire coalition. And I consider that to be an act of treason. And so right now what I am doing is I am stationing all of my troops all over his provinces as you can see and there's nothing he really can do about it because i'm stronger i have more units um we have already had a few battles before before we decided to, to join forces and he knows that i could easily dismantle him um and not only that i have 241 planes with more on the way as you can see waiting for any false moves by Mr. Wes Irkutsk and um, we have more individuals over here and what's good about this is that Kentucky is here so I've set up a base in the United States on the west side I set up a base here so that um, in the event that I need to come into here and deal with this coalition, I can come on into here. This is the Minutemen Coalition, and this is their leader, who is Bulldog, also Kentucky. Well, his username is Bulldog, and he runs Kentucky. As you can see, Kentucky is here, and they stretch all the way over to here. No, I'm sorry to here and here and I believe what Kentucky is trying to do is just bring in as you can see he has over 2,000 um, troops here he has some tanks I mean he's fully loaded so that is a concern because he's right there and these guys seem to be working together and he can easily try to trot that on down here somewhere or anywhere so he's a threat and so um, when you get to play in this game you realize you're playing against real people you're playing against a real person in real time and so we have to consider that when we're looking at okay I'm in the lead they know I'm in the lead I'm sure they see me spreading out and I'm sure that's a problem for them so um, I have to be on my P's and Q's I also have, um, let's see here, I have almost 100 planes over here waiting for any false move on this side as well. So I have a lot of airplanes, which is, is, is crazy. Um, that's a lot of airplanes to have, and they're fully loaded, meaning you see here, haven't been damaged at all. So these guys are fully loaded, ready to go. Um, I also have 
some rail guns here waiting to fire off if anybody makes any move here and so we're still in good shape um, we haven't had any action yet I will let you know when um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send Wes Urquitz a message and I'm going to let him know that he has committed treason and that actually you know what I will not do that I will not do that that way um, I think what I want to do is just sneak attack it um, we're going to just sneak attack it because we're already pretty much in position that I want to be in um, I think what he wants to do here is I think he wants to continue to attack South Hejaz here, which is fine with me. I have no issue with that. Um, the only thing about it is it's going to weaken him up, which is good for me. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the plan. At some point within the next day or two, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. Um, but I am going to, as you can see, this is going to be all attacks here. All of this is going to be attacks. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen suddenly. He's not going to see it coming. This is going to be something you do not want to miss. This is going to be a game changer. It's going to be unexpected. I expect to get cussed out. I expect to get all kind of messages about this and that. So I'll let you guys see all of that, how that goes. And um, let's see. We got all these airplanes still coming. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. We're almost finished here with Baghdad. We've taken all of that over here that was here. Um, now let's bundle these guys up here. Let's move all these guys over here. And then we will take I think we're gonna just sit here. Um, and then once we take this area here. Well, no, I won't sit there. Let's take some of these guys. And put them to use. Might just need you. All right, so we want to just go ahead and take the rest of these territories right here from Baghdad and then that should be at a point where now I'm out of pretty much every battle and let me show you guys another situation here very funny actually kind of funny so I'm sitting here this is um, Baghdad he has attacked they're under uh, him and Wesley Kutz is under in a battle um, I, 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 what my, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Baghdad go ahead and beat, um, I'm going to let him go ahead and beat Western Kutz right here. And then I will come in and take out Baghdad. And then I will, um, also take over that province, which was the plan from the beginning. Which I know Wes Kutz is going to be a little upset about. But there's nothing he can do about it. So. Um, I can easily stop right here. And. Um, just let my artillery guns. Fire off and help them out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go as far. As close as I can get. So that once. Baghdad's tanks take out those 32 men. I can come on in and get the weakened Baghdad because it's uh, it's going to be pretty it's going to be pretty weak coming at coming um after this battle, so he's he's not going to have as much uh, strength as he does right now. So we're going to let 
We're going to let um, Wes your cuts do the dirty work. And then we'll come swoop in and uh, get the spoils, which will clear that land for me. And that will be great because now I can just funnel people through here. And that's that's pretty good. Um, and then right then I should be out of most of the battles. All right. So this is where we're at. Um, everything looks good. I got people coming here. Just in case I need to get to this area. I have uh, some people here. Just in case I need to get these guys out of here. This is Benny again. I got more people over here in the water. You can see I got what? Let me slow down. As you can see, I got about 500, another 300 here. Uh, let's put all that together. 828 plus 14 boats, not bad. Let's bring those guys together as one unit. Uh, oh, we got more boats here. Okay. Man, we fully loaded around here. So the next time we attack somebody or go on a full attack somewhere, I mean, it's going to be pretty bad. It really is. Um, I still have these guys here. Plus, I got another 1,250 troops there waiting. These are all going to come and get South Hejaz. But I chose to give him a break because he's um, not the biggest threat in the game right now. So um, I still have all of my troops stationed here. In case I need to make an attack against West, uh, I mean against uh, South Hejaz here, which I don't plan on doing that just yet. Um, but what I do see though is that if you look here, I got all these rail guns coming. So I got about 54 rail guns that are coming over here. Um, now at that point, when these rail guns get here, I may just be compelled to attack South Hejaz because I mean that's so much firepower that I mean I got to go ahead and make a move but I don't want to weaken South Hejaz right now because right now South Hejaz is at war with Kentucky so I want them guys to continue fighting and not even worry. I want them to kind of forget that I'm even in the game right now. I think that's part of my strategy is um, the calm before the storm. So you guys want to be here when I just start going on a straight slaughter mission. Because don't think that I got all of this by not playing the game and doing certain things that will teach you guys how to strategize. How to get your provinces in order, how to set yourself up for battles, um, what to fight with, um, what to fight against. Like people don't know, some people don't know, you don't ever send a bunch of boats. Like I would never send a bunch of boats to a person's, pro let's say I wanted to go and attack South of Jazz over here. I would never just send, just because I got a whole bunch of uh, men on these boats. I would never send that towards South Hejaz because the one thing that will kill all these boats are planes. So you have to know how to use your boats. Your boats are really used to get troops that are in the water, um, to, to transport your troops, um, and things like that. You really don't want to attack or you want to attack a base. Um, you can attack a base or a province, but you want to make sure that that province does not have any uh, planes. Because if they have any planes, then they're going to down all of these very easily. Planes take boats down very easily. So when you watch me play, and I'll show you how to take planes down. And how to, you know, some people don't know that when you're dealing with bombers, one of the only things that's going to slow down these bombers these airplane bombers or the airplane fighters. So it's just little things like that that um, I think you will want to pay attention to. Um, 
Now, what I'm seeing right here is that South Hejaz is pissed off and he's attacking um, West Irkutsk. But I've already told him that he could attack West Irkutsk because I was going to stay out of any conflict that they had. So that's why I'm going to move from here because I can sense that he's going to attack that base. So what I want to do is get off of that base um, so that he can attack that and whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not assisting West Yurkuts at this time. Um, I will not. I could easily send send him a message over here and say, "Hey, back off. Uh, don't do that." But I'm not going to do that. He can do whatever he wants to because he's not attacking me. We're at peace, and I already considered West Yurkuts as a treasonous ally. And so um, that's where we're at now, guys. So the goal is just to take the rest of the Baghdad, get them out of there, and maybe just have a little bit of peace as we begin to put my troops in the right places. Make sure we uh, cover any provinces that, that West Yurkuts have that I have not station troops at. Now, I do keep some of these without truth because I have a feeling that South Hejaz may try to come here and attack. And I don't want to be in between that. So I'd rather just stand back a bit. But um, that's where we're at now and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.